Hi friends, welcome to Ms. Cooper's art class. Um, today I'm going to talk about how to hold your crochet hook. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to hold your project to find one that you think is the most successful for you. Um, so this relies on you already knowing how to tie a slip knot. So I do have a video that shows you how to do that. Now, if you're just trying to practice and you need to just tie a regular knot to get a loop over your hook, that is okay. That is just fine. So let's talk about a couple ways to hold your hook and your yarn. Um, now I am right-handed. I, I will say that right away. And I, you can use this little thumb rest all the way back here, but and I tend to use that for my thumb, but my pointer finger, I usually rest on my loop and scoot it up and down my hook. I find that to be the best way to maneuver my yarn with my right hand. Now this is where your left hand comes in. Your left hand controls the tension that's coming from your yarn because, you know, if I pull a ton of this yarn free and I pull too hard, I'm going to end up with way more than I want. So here's method number one. This is what I use. It's a little bit hard on your pinky though. Is I just hold my hand like this. And what I do is I drape my yarn across my hand with my hook in the air, just like this. I close my last fingers. So I'm still point so I'm like pointing in a different direction. Close my last fingers and I usually just kind of tuck my thumb in. I just kind of wrap my yarn around my pointer finger. So it looks like I'm still pointing at something off in space, but now I have my yarn wrapped around my finger. So let's say I'm starting to chain and what I usually do is I kind of grab with my, my middle finger and my thumb when I chain. I want my yarn to go over the hook towards me, towards that working yarn hand. I'm going to pull the back loop over the front loop. And if I were to do that again, I pull that yarn towards me. So it's going towards that working hand still from back to front. And I pull that back loop over the front loop using the hook to my advantage. And I just did that really slowly. But what you'll see as I move faster is that you can see that yarn sliding through my hand. You can see it scooting through. And I can keep my back fingers nice and tight so that it doesn't really go anywhere and so that I don't end up with too much. So that's how I control my tension. But that's a lot for your pinky. So here's a different way to do it. If you don't want your pinky to have to hold any tension, um, let's say you have arthritis. I've met people with arthritis who do this. What you can do is do the same thing where you drape your yarn, but instead you're going to keep pulling and you're going to wrap it around your hand twice before you wrap it around your finger. What happens is you naturally end up with some friction from your hand. So you can do this twice or you can just do it once, kind of like me. So you can see it just goes around their hand. And having it trail across your hand creates some natural friction so that your pinky can do whatever it wants. Your pinky can just kind of hang out into space and not have to do anything. So really the only fingers that have to do something are your thumb and your middle finger. Um, I've met a lot of people who like this better and then they just kind of tug with their whole hand as they run out of yarn. So I don't have enough yarn, so I'm just going to kind of pull it and then I have more to work with. So if you need something that is very stress free for those back fingers, this is a great way of holding your yarn. And I've seen a lot of people do this one. Um, now the third way I'll show you, just because these seem to be the most common ways, there, there are really infinite ways of holding your yarn. It is whatever works for you. That's the ultimate answer. Um, as I've seen people kind of weave it through their fingers, kind of like this. So it goes over the pinky and middle finger. And so this is also a way to kind of prevent some stress on those back fingers. Um, so this definitely works too when you're trying to chain. So I'm going to pull that back loop over that front one. And that works. That works all right for me. I'm just not used to it. But this is another way to reduce strain on your other fingers. So hopefully that helps.
and I'll still end up with this lovely chain to work with. I haven't talked about the mechanics of chaining all that much yet, but basically what you're doing is you're wrapping from back to front, grabbing that back loop and pulling it over the front. What you'll notice about the way I hold my yarn, because I haven't commented on my right hand much, is when I pull, I use my right pointer finger to push things along to smooth it. If I tried to just pull it all the way from here, if I'm fighting with this finger, that's going to make my life hard. And so that finger guides it upwards. It makes it easier on my left hand. So again, I pull from back to front and I loop it over. And I pull around towards me, towards that working hand, and I pull from back to front to make those chains. And you can see my chain looks a little bit different depending which method I use. My method where I started in the beginning is where my chain is the tightest and I don't see as much space between the loops. When I wrapped it around my whole hand, you can see a little more space and you see a little bit more when I wove it through my fingers. And then when I just kind of wrap it around and pull it through, you can see the biggest gaps and, and probably the least amount of consistency. But those are all worth trying. So try these different ways of chaining and see what works for your hand. And remember, if you get a patch that you're not so sure of, but you don't want to undo the whole thing, just remember you can hold on to one part when you pull it undone. And then just put your hook right back into that open loop. I hope that was helpful. Um, next, I'll be showing how to do a single crochet. So um, definitely stick around the channel for that. Um, like if this was helpful, please um, leave comment, leave questions in the comment section. Um, or if you want to, just subscribe for more. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting.